What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to the old channel. So the plan is, I'm going to go camping opposite of Sainsbury's. That's the plan anyway. Depending on how open it is, will obviously depend whether we're camping there or not. So, if not, I'm just going to go somewhere on the field because it's like a field where it's next to. It's kind of terrible there explaining stuff on <laughs> But um, you'll see more when we get down there. So I'll bring you back very soon. Pathetic. That's probably for testing, seeing if anyone's speeding. So then probably in a few months down the line, they'll start putting mobile speed cameras on the roads or potentially cameras in the future. But that's usually quite rare, I think anyway. It's either the one with one line or two lines. I don't know. But I know that's what. The fuck. Well, guys, here's the scene for this. So the idea is we're gonna go on the other side. So I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. To the people. So we're just gonna come around the side. So you can see here, this is where I want to be. That's the idea, opposite, but we will, if it's doable or not, very soon. So, let's go over here, see what's over here. Just for now, half an hour left till sunset, so. This might actually be doable, but not just now. Yeah, this is definitely going to be doable. Yeah, look at all that there. Well, it's not going to hurt. Yeah, look at all that meat. We spoiled for choice. Yeah, 100% anywhere here. That's just sticks in my back, like on the uh, roundabout one. But you can walk around the field for a bit because it's... Like I say, it's too early yet. No point like being dead stealthy just yet, is there? Could just be a guy walking back from work with a very big back. <laughs> um, so I did have a plan. There's another spot on this field. Um, so yeah, there's a zip that goes in. Um, oh God, I'm so, so unfit. <laughs> Yeah, there's sort of a dip that goes in, but it's quite exposed from like people walking around the field with the dogs. And because now it's 20, uh, 20 to six, there's obviously gonna be people coming back from work, walking the dogs and things like that. So I'm just gonna burn a bit of this, this good old beer belly off. Let's have a little walk around, a little football. Over there. Hey look, it's quite exposed. So it's quite hidden off there, but people do walk through that as a shortcut. That in mind later on, when with obviously the light on and things like that. Little springy spaniel, I think. So yeah, there's a little skate park on there. Yeah, and I'll show you as we're going down all the stuff and there's actually some building work the council's been allocated some money to waste on this you know what I mean is the top priority in my opinion <laughs> um, but yeah I'll show you the other spot we were gonna be over there in them tree line I've only gonna left my vape on the kitchen table pathetic let's find that Got the missus coming to drop it off. I'm just, I'm just literally wasting time now for about half an hour. So as it gets dark, there should be less. There will still be people coming on, but a lot less. But amazing new changing room they're doing for the footballers. I think the council should have donated some money to the other council because I think, I think a lot of people. 
from where I am would agree that the roads are shocking. And if you're in the UK, the roads are probably shocking where you are, but in the Midlands, they're particularly bad. So, yeah, it's all fun and games. Look at there, sat on the bench, probably smoking something. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go down there and show you guys where we're gonna camp. But we're not gonna go there anymore. Housing, new housing estate being built up. All that. So I'm gonna get off my phone because I don't want anyone thinking I'm some weirdo like going up recording their kids. Even though I kind of look like a baby me son. But you know what I'm saying, guys. So we've come down here at the end now. Watch out for that bad boy. So yeah, that was plan B. So it's, this actually all used to be a massive open like greenery really for people to go around, but as usual, the building on it. So there's like loads of trash. There's just sofas and that that people have dumped from off the bridge because people are driving across there and that. But yeah, look at all that down there. Quite a good spot. Maybe I could try and get under that thing in the future. Yeah. All the man them are looking at me. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go and collect the vape now. And it's just started raining a little bit, which is good. Considering I brought no waterproofs other than my coat. I'm in the fire trap joggers. I like to wear for camping just because they're comfy. I need to actually invest in some some of them camping trousers. Not camping trousers, you know what I mean? Like the hard wearing ones with like reinforced knees and that. Majestic dog. Oh, oh, oh. Right, so we're gonna make our way out e of the the field and everything it's up there but I don't know I like making things hard for myself apparently because I've got a cross now as well with the traffic oh my god um so yeah sunset is in about 10 minutes now as we know the days are getting longer now which is good and bad but equally it's better than it going dark at like at like 4 p.m which is terrible so, yeah, we're gonna get up there now. Start setting stuff up. And it's starting to rain. A bit of logging action. Alright, guys, so that's where we went in originally now. And we're just gonna get set up because the rain is coming down heavy. Like I said, I'm only in joggers. I don't, I don't want to be sitting there in wet ass clothes. I'm getting in my down sleeping bag, getting that wet because should be getting wet. So when the traffic is gone, we're gonna cross Moss Patch. Right, let's go. As you can see, it is quite secluded with all the ivy, which is a good thing. I hate ivy myself, but it is good when you're trying to stay a bit more stealthy. It's nature's nemo, nemo, camo netting. I think I'm gonna go somewhere down there. So this bit's way too exposed. Ow! Ow, it's sharp. I'm not being very stealthy, I'm making loads of racket. Someone's been dumping there. The crop or something, I don't know. Alright. Probably could have just walked through there, but we like making it whacked in the face. Oh, this bit's quite exposed. Oh, it is barbed wire though, so anyone should be coming through there. I just don't know where to go. Oh, some lads clearly come here. So maybe the Maybe this isn't a good spot, I don't know. Got the concrete bench, I've never, never sat on a concrete. Oh, it's not nice. It's very hard. 
don't know what that's off, some sign or something, or maybe it's a fence post. Oh, it's a path, I don't know. To make my mind up soon, because like I say, sunset is imminent. Footpath might lead to the new houses. I don't know. I want to have a look and see where it goes, because it's just like, it seems like a long path right next to the field. I don't know, I'm going to put the camera down guys, have a little look around. This just looks like a path to be honest, so. Yeah, I'm going to head back over there and hope no kids come later on. Oh, it's gone all blurry, it's rain. So yeah, oh well. Whoa, that would have been like a spear in me eye. Oh God, the weather is for it now yeah I'm just gonna go over there blow it the only two spots really are here but that's very exposed from anyone on the road and them houses or here which is exposed to everyone on the field coming on later hmm I think I'm gonna have somewhere here maybe put the tent there because that is too steep so might have to do here it's going to be a bit exposed but we should be good so I'm going to go in the terrible slanty position we're just going to deal with it oh fuck there's someone over there shit I think that woman seen me oh fuck I don't know I just need to chill a bit it's way too exposed everywhere So I need to set everything up quick. Like I say, soon I'm going to have to have a torch on and then everyone will see me. Hope she doesn't come back up. Hopefully she doesn't turn around because I need to be setting up there. Oh no, she's stopping. Right. Oh, she's probably going to walk around this and then come back. Oh guys, there's some kids that have come now. I just want to set me up. Losing daylight. Probably coming down here to smoke the wacky backy on the little makeshift concrete thing. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're just lurking about. Now I feel like a weirdo if they spot me because I'm like some guy lurking in the bushes. I might just just set it up, just go for it to see me so what, but I, I try and like not being detected. Oh, I think they're walking away. Yeah, they're walking. Oh no, they're stopping. Oh, they're meeting up with people. No, they're going, they're going. Yes, they're going. Oh, or they're coming over here, I don't know. Just scooch around a little bit. Sorry about the lighting guys, I'm just not putting the flashlight on there. There's another chap over there. I'm not liking this guy, he's gone. He's literally about 10 meters away from me. Right, he's gone. Once the green worried, because when this doesn't have green on, oh, I'm sorry, I'm zoomed in. You can't really see, but see the colour comparison so this obviously stands out more than the green cover it just blends in so I'm gonna stop waffling get a tent
Right guys, I've finished setting up now. I'm going to make this quick because there's someone on the field with a flashlight and don't want to spot us. So a quick turn around. So OEX again, down, sleeping pack, EV900, foil, uh, traverse, trackology pillow. Then we've got the Cronenbergs again. Not doing ourselves in with the whiskey this time. I learnt my lesson last time. Plus, it's a school night and we've got work tomorrow. So, you know. And then we've got a twirly, whirly, whirly. Two packs of cockies. Uh, and then we've got the little pudding for dessert that I froze in one of my videos. And then here we've got some spaghetti bolognese that I uh, backpacked today. Oh, first slug of the day. Ooh, let's give it a little taste test. No, let's not. Right, so I've just come back over to the little little concrete ting a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling and I brought two beers with me. Because now if anyone sees me, I'm just a weird guy chilling in the woods recording himself at night. Which is probably a bit strange, but it's better than being around my tent. Because worst case scenario is it's a Karen and they're like calling the police or something to tell us to move on so I'm gonna sit here and enjoy it because it's took me about an hour and 20 minutes to set up because there's been I've had to keep stopping and starting because there's been that many people so yeah just chill out for a bit so I bet a lot of you are like Tom why are you going camping on a on a weekday? And that's just because they're the only days I'm off call this week. So, you know what I mean? We're making the most of it. We're getting out. I need to be doing YouTube videos and I'm trying to do them where I'm free, really. Um, but as you know, I'm quite busy with work, so it's just getting that time to do that. But when I, when I get an available chance, it's good to get out. Um, good to do something different, like I always waffle on about. I always waffle on about. Yeah. I when I was setting up, I put my um, tripod just on the ground. And I picked it up. I was like, what is all that all over my hands? And yeah, it was bird poop. So that was nice. Thankfully, I bought some baby wipes though, which I wasn't going to bring. Um, so that was a good job. Oh, gassy. It's fine though, we're not, we've got whiskey this time. Last time when I had the four beers, you know what I mean? That was enough, I, I was drunk. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what I mean? Tastes, tastes quite good, that Howl Ahead whiskey, so. Once you start it, you can't stop it. God, I sound like a right alcoholic, don't I? <laughs> I'm really not, guys. I remember once, so before I actually started the YouTube group, uh, group, channel, um, I, I posted a picture because I, I, I was doing a bit of stealth camping before I actually started the channel. It's obviously without recording it and that. Um, and I, I posted a picture of like all my food and that with the tent and the, the place I was at. And I had like, it was something crazy amount of likes, I don't know, something like in the thousands. But I was having all these negative comments like, you're such an alcoholic. So I had six beers, which, you know what I mean? Okay, it's more than your average Joe. But it's not like I've got a whole crate or, you know what I mean, it's, it's six beers. If, if you're going out like with the lads, you know what I mean, at the pub, whatever, you, you're probably going to drink that anyway. So when you're sitting enjoying your time off or, do you know what I mean, going camping, what really is there to do other than sit and chill? So why not? So for you haters, which I haven't got many on my channel at the minute, <laughs> but... Um, to all you haters, just stop hating, just love. People feel like they, they need to comment, not on my videos, I'm just saying in general, like they just have to like say their info, which most of the time it's either irrelevant or, you know what I mean, so out of context, but yeah. We're all about positive vibes on this channel, and if you don't like that, click off the channel, but to all you, God, I've got a hair in my eye, boy, to all you decent subscribers, Thanks for liking the video and make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Oh yeah. There's Torch, Torch man, he's on his way back. But I'm not bothered anymore because even if he spots us, like, so what? I'm, just, I'm being a youth. You just think, look at this youth up to no good in the woods. 
can't see him anymore. So apparently tonight it's going to be lows of 11 degrees, which is quite high, you know what I mean? That's a normal day in the UK, well, an average day I would say. Yeah, so it's quite mild tonight, I've, I've my sleeping bag, I, I'm going to keep that one now until, you know what I mean, we are at spring or borderline summer. It's, it's still a little bit nippy, but I've only got a t-shirt on under this coat and I'm, I'm pretty warm. I'm probably going to just wear this all night <clears throat> until I jump into the sleeping bag and whip a it off. So, I'm not sure where that guy's gone. It's fine that I'm not bothered about anyone coming behind me because there's a, um, what is it? I'm getting blinded by this light. There's a uh, barbed wire fence uh, sort of around me so no one's wandering in in the night but yeah I've decided to put the tent like that I will show it you later I just want to wait till obviously everyone's gone so I'll show you later on um, I just wanted to put it there because in the morning now it's like about six o'clock six o'clock so I don't want anyone obviously seeing me um, or the Karens like I've said because not all of them, but some of them are a Karen in this community. So, you know, we've got to be respectful at the end of the day. That's what I'm all about. So, yeah. This fell off again. Right, guys, there's the tent. The old tent of room. wedge between there's the barbed wire fence yeah. it's probably going to be a really terrible night's sleep but we'll come to that we'll get to that right so here's a little fun fact for you well it's not really fun but it is a fact so in that mossy car park that we walked through earlier back in 1994 there was a taxi driver and he got shot in that um car park when he was in his taxi and I think they've arrested two guys but I don't know if the murder was ever solved so yeah there's a little fun fact for you all yeah the wind is starting to come so is the rain but <laughs> we're all prepared on <coughs> can't get my words out we're all prepared aren't we got me little Temu umbrella hat for like two pound or somewhere or it was something like that ridiculous see how good it holds up so I've got the little Tamu umbrella hat on now Let's get some food down and also get some chocolate chip mini cookies from Audi. Some absolutely starving meat. Not, I'm not eating anything in about 11 and a half hours. That all that packaging. And there's six in there. It's called shrinkflation, where the amount in the packet is going down and the price is going up. That's the joys of the future. Shrinkflation. Yeah, so I didn't actually bring my chair with me. I know I usually bring my chair, but I just thought. It's extra weight, isn't it? You know when you got to walk up somewhere, you could do with like losing the extra weight to be fair. When I first started getting into camping, you know what I mean, my bag is still big now, but it's about packing as light as you can, but what I've got in the habit of when I first started going camping, because I'm sure a lot of you guys have done the same thing, is you think, I need the biggest of everything and just try and take as much stuff with you as you can, but like as you realise during the camps, like half the stuff, not half the stuff, but a good few things, you know what I mean, you, you don't even touch. So, in my opinion, you might as well just like, not 
I don't know if you can hear, but there's actually a church just down this road and they're ringing bells. You probably won't be able to hear it because of we are quite far away. Quiet, 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 quiet night. And like no wind at all, you will, you hear things for miles and you would be able to hear, like you can hear that, but. I'm gonna take this off now. It's, oh, it's killing my head. Cutting the circulation off from my from my hair. <laughs> All the skin on my head. Yeah. So when I actually ordered this, um, like I say, I think it was one pound ninety eight or something. So I thought, why not? Um, but the stitching was terrible, and the band is very small. And as you can see, I've got a long ass head. So. I needed to reinforce that, so here are my me. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but I'll show you. Wait, I'll come behind so you can definitely see. Here's my amazing stitching skills. Stitching, I mean sewing. Look at that, amazing. Look at that. That is not splitting with Tom's big ass head. Trust me. So, shout your boy up if you need any garments, sewing, fixing. No, I'm joking. I do, I'm not one for sewing. But. Right, guys, let's get some food on. So, I'm using the little one pound, I think it was 47 or 48 stove. It's quite stiff, very easy to assemble. And, well, I say that and it takes forever. See, you just push it in, that's it. Looks a bit nasty, but who cares? Bang it down. It's not very stable ground, so I'm just gonna whoop. Right, so we've got the amazing spaghetti bolognese with sweet corn, peas, peppers, mushrooms, mint meat, spaghetti. And then for dessert, we've got a sticky toffee pudding that I've back sealed as well. Freaking water has been added, dude. Now, we get the bags in. I'm just going to crush it up a little bit. Just plop her in there. Just like that. Fully submerge her. Leave her for a bit and she'll be done. Bob's your uncle. This stove is really good. It's extremely quiet, it's relatively cheap. Well, itself is cheap the fuel is relatively cheap very good in sort of like damp conditions however in the summer probably won't be as good because as you can imagine everything will be dry oh sounds like it's a police helicopter so one sec
Yeah, so in the summer I don't think it would be as good because it would be more likely to burn things, as you can see. Everything is damp. The mud, soil, very damp, very black. Whereas in the summer it'll be a nice light brown colour. So, all in all, I think this gets a thumbs up from me. Definitely worth the value, in my opinion. And providing you take your food out, which I didn't last time, it's good. The water's, I'd say, it. oh yeah, that's hot now. I can't hold my finger in there. So... I'm going to say that meal is done. So make sure you defrost your meals and then you only have to use one of these. If if it's frozen, you'll have to use two, but to say you're on top of a mountain or somewhere like that and say the temperatures are freezing, it's still going to it's still going to work provided you've got a I hope that's not a slug down my sleeve. I don't know, I felt wet. <laughs> provided it's not too windy. Do you know what I mean? It's gonna, it's gonna be worth it. So, I've got another stove I want to try out. I know I said on the camping video last on the roundabout that um, I might use another stove, and I've got a Trangia stove. So, I'm gonna use that probably on the next video. I don't know. I keep saying that, don't I? But we'll see how it goes. Let's go and enjoy some food, because I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. Alright, so what I'm going to do guys, that is done, I think, I'll just give it a little, yeah, it's nice and warm, I'm not really bothered, it don't really faze me, if you knew me, I'll eat out, <laughs> whether it's cold or not, it don't really faze me, alright, so what I'm going to do now, so while the water's still warm and there's a little bit of flame left, I'm just going to bang the sticky toffee pudding in there I'm gonna bang the lid on and I'm not bothered about that going out now because the water will still be quite warm and it will warm it up enough so it's nice so I'm gonna take my little bag and go munching her in the old little crack there so I've just cut it a tiny bit with the scissors on both sides so I'm gonna go, uh, my little Swiss Army knife tonight, so like if it goes too far down on one side, if you put a tear on both the sides, you can keep it relatively high. So, give the old spag ball. I say I get, I already know what it tastes like, but let's get it down us. <laughs> Look at the portion size, guys. It's bigger than your average portion. And it's a lot cheaper than the ready-made meals that you can buy. Just do them yourself. I should have added a bit of cheese. Oh. Should have added a little bit of cheese in it. It's fine. I should have actually shook it up as well with all the mince meat and all the veg and that's at the bottom. But it's fine. I've double sealed it so I can mix it around. So even if I do split the first layer, you know what I mean? It's not going to go through to the, well, it shouldn't go through to the second one. That's what's nice about when you do it yourself, you can literally like do whatever you want so so what is it when you're tipsy food just tastes that much better it's beautiful mess free other than your hands <laughs> but we've got wipes and we've got trousers for that we've got Hands to wipe. 
a moose mouse moose mouse and then look <coughs> rubbish that's it no dirty pots that's it that's the only rubbish bag I've got I've got a poo bag <laughs> For Bella, <laughs> well, when I take Bella on a walk, do my thing, my pocket, so, and I've got my key what's stuck up with it apparently. But in the morning, I'm gonna clean up as much as like this litter as I can, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be able to take the bottles and things like that, but I'm gonna take as much litter as I physically can because there's a dump around here. People should not be coming here and littering. You know what I mean? If you bring you, if you bring it with you, take it back with you. Don't leave it there unless it's biodegradable or whatever. You know what I mean? So, so what you sent out? Right. So I was just saying about slitting the packet. I forgot to do it on this one, so it's gonna have to be good old teeth. Let's rip it this side. Oh no, forget that. Spork. Yeah, make sure you always chop the sides, guys. Then it'd be less messy. See if this worked or not. Cheers. Look at that steam. No, you can't see because there's a breeze, but there's steam coming off it. Mm. Look at that. Like three or four bites, and that's it. Mm, that's nice. Mm. Wow. That's like a proper treacle syrup sponge. Oh, that's heavenly, that is. Wow. Oh. I should have put... It comes as two, I think. And it was like £1.29 or something for two pots. But I should have vac-sealed both of them. Because one of them was nice, but... I mean, it's kind of like a snack. I'd rather have two. It'd be more worth your while. I could eat one of them as like a bite size. <laughs> mm, that syrup is amazing. I can't remember what they were. I think they were from Tesco. Yeah. So yeah, that works as well. You can back seal them, freeze them. Tasted just as good as it did in the microwave. Okay, it wasn't as runny, but it was still warm and melted at least. So. Right. Put that in the bag. I'll finish off. I've got about a quarter left. It's my fourth beer, so. That food's sorted me out now. I feel. Feel normal again now. <laughs> so yeah, cheers guys. I'm gonna finish the rest of this off. It's currently quarter to eleven. I'm not actually at work till eleven tomorrow, so well I'm gonna try and get there as you know what I mean as soon as I can, but I'm not gonna rush either. But equally I don't want all the dog walkers spotting me, so I don't know. We'll we'll see where the night goes at the end of the day, but I want to try and get up fairly early. Go home, go in the shower, get changed, and we'll get going to work. So I'm gonna finish this can. I'll see you in the tent. And I'll see you in the morning. Capital boy. 
Any downside about these pads is I wish it were just like one more wider because like it's too narrow for me because I'm a chunky boy with chunky thighs. So you know, I'd, I'd rather be man spreading a little bit, you know what I mean, like that. And when I'm like that, it's too wide, but it's a little bit too narrow, and then end up going off the sides a little bit and wetting knees so four class aka decathlon get your stuff together come on what are you playing at Let's jump in No, I need to take my boots off. And I'm facing downhill as well. <laughs> I never make it easy for myself, do I? <laughs> right. I'm in my sleeping bag now. And it's currently quarter past eleven. So I'm going to get to bed now, I'm going to set my alarm for 7am, but I'll probably wake up about 6 o'clock knowing me, I always do when I'm camping, for some reason, so I'll see you in the morning guys at coffee time. 5.20am, the birds are meeting a bloody riot. Morning people, actually. I had a, well, I say I had a decent sleep. I didn't. I was waking up every hour. Um, I don't think that pad is the one, to be fair. It's good if you're a back sleeper. However, I like to sleep on my side, and it's just all the lumps and bumps, you know what I mean? You can feel everything. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get up now. Well, I'm already up, so I needed a wee. Um, because all the crazy dog walkers are going to be out soon. It's 20 to 6. I've just seen a guy riding past on his bike on the field. So I'm going to get up now. I'm going to make a coffee. And then I think at about 6 o'clock, Sainsbury's open. So we'll go and get some brekkie. We'll come back to the tent. Might have another coffee. And we'll start setting up, uh, packing up. And then we'll get going. Right, guys, I've just packed everything away inside of my tent now. So it's just gone six o'clock, Sainsbury should be open. We'll get some brekkie, we'll get a coffee on. There's, there's gonna be all the dog walks coming. I've already seen three people walk since I've been packing stuff in my tent away. But at least now all I've gotta do is literally take the tent down when I'm, well, when I'm ready to go. So. All is good in the hood. Actually, no crazy dog walkers on the field yet, which I'm really surprised about. They're going to be coming soon, I can smell them. Alright, let's go Sainsbury's. Get some El Fudio. Sainsbury's dropping off my goods. Good old Sainsbury's truck. Oh no, it was the old bread truck. See guys, no hangover. Beers don't give me a hangover. Forget forget drinking whiskey on a flipping work day. Like I said, I'm not at work till 11, so. There's some tear. What is that? Hell is that? Well, I hope it's open. Why is the light not on? You watch it not be open. Not quite sure if it's open or not, guys, so we will see. We ain't, we ain't getting any breakfast today, boys. Um, not open for another hour. Forget that, I want to be gone by then. So we'll just go back now. We'll have a quick coffee and get everything packed up. And we'll go on our way back home. Can't even see this tent. The colour blends in really well. 
Where is it? Oh yeah, I see it, it's there. You can't see it on camera. Yeah, it's, it's just there, you can't see it. To anyone that's walking past, they ain't seeing me. Oh, back at the tent, meet. Alright, so I'm hoping there's no slugs. I'm hoping there's no slugs in here. Look at that, bosh. Add a bit more water. Get a freaking kaffir. So I'm waiting for that to boil. Let's get a tent away. Coffee with a bit of a sunrise. <laughs> say a bit of a sunrise, it's a not really a sunrise at all. A little bit of sun through the clouds. Cheers everyone. No, I don't know. It's a bit hot. I'm gonna leave that to chill for a bit as I just burnt my mouth. Right, while I'm letting that cool down, I'm gonna take my rubbish bag and my little poo bag. And I'm just gonna try and pick as much litter up as I can. So other people can enjoy it a bit better than it is now. I'm not gonna take all the bottles, like I say, but why's your roller tin foil? Um yeah, I'm just going to pick all the, as much litter up as I can. Right, so I've picked up as much as I can. I know it hasn't really made much of a difference. It has a little bit, I guess, but... Got all the cracky bottles. And I've got as much rubbish as I, as I can physically carry. So, no trees. Well, this ain't even my rubbish, but I'm leaving no trees. So I'll just get back to camp. Well, it's not camp anymore. Hang on, there's a little robin. Greeted by the little robin most mornings. There he is, can you see him? It's like here. No, he's done one now. Oh, he's there now. So nosy robins are. And yeah, I'm gonna leave that, leave all that there for now. God, if anyone sees us walking out, they're definitely thinking we're homeless or something. Look at that alcoholic. Let's see, Let's see if it's cooled down. Tolerable now. It's not third degree burns. I think I actually burnt my lip. Feels a bit raised. Nice. 
Oh, so many mosquitoes. It's that time of year again. I've just stumbled across someone's driving license and their bank card. I'm not going to show you the bank card. Probably cancelled it, but here's Miss Nicola Price from Retford, which is very far away from here. So, they're probably stolen. So, uh, yeah. Packed everything away, guys. So now I'm going to take me rubbish. And there's a little bin just there. And then we're off ski. As you can see, that's where the tent was. We've left no trace. So, yeah. Overall, it's a good castle one. No one spotted us. We didn't get busted. I nearly got busted a few times, but it's, it's all good in the hood. All right, let's make a move. Not a bad little spot. Here we go, we're out. No one detected us like usual. Well, not that I'm aware of anyway. Mossy grass. It's not grass, is it? It's just moss. Bottles absolutely stink. So I can only guess what's in there. Gas then. Right, guys. What brings us to the end? So, hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Whoa, nearly got ran over. Make sure you leave me a comment as well. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I'm planning to do a Peak District camp hopefully soon, so that'll be fun. You don't have to be stealthy or anything. So yeah, see you on the next one guys. Take it easy.